Tracking's real simple. A lot of people don't know that this is something that's available uh, in Outlook. But once you know it's there, it is kind of handy and it's real easy to explain. Let's go ahead and click New. And we'll go over to the Options tab here. Uh, in the Tracking pane, we've got two options. Request a delivery receipt and request a read receipt or a read receipt, however you want to take that. But the way these work is if I want to know when the message has been delivered, meaning that the other person downloaded the message from their server, then I can click this option right here. If I want to make sure that the other person actually read the message, so in other words, I want to find out when they read it, then I can click this option here. Now, a little bit about that. It does not always work because some people, like for example with Outlook, if I request a red receipt, or I should say if somebody else requests that receipt uh, and a message gets sent to me, Outlook will ask me, it'll tell me uh, such and such person requested a red receipt, do you want to uh, give that to them? And I have the option of saying yes or no. So you can't rely on this 100%. Uh, the delivery receipt, basically all that does is uh, it sends a little message. Whenever somebody has checked their email and they've downloaded the message, this will send a little message back to you and say, okay, the message was delivered. Again, not something you can, you know, just put all your stock into. A lot of it depends on the email client that the other person is using as well. In the next exercise, let's talk about replying and forwarding messages.